Hey everybody, it's Adam here. Welcome back to the Moto Vlogs. Today on the Moto Vlogs, I'm at, it's actually the Boosted Vlogs. I'll start calling it the Boosted Vlogs, just for you guys. Today we are back on the Boosted board, doing a little bit of cruising through the city. And um, I haven't done a one of these in a long time and I realized pretty much I haven't done one of these ever since I got my motorcycle. I figured that because I got my motorcycle, I basically stopped riding the boosted board, and that was just pretty, pretty lame excuse if you ask me, because this thing's still hecka fun. In case you guys didn't know, I actually changed up my moto vlogging helmet setup, microphone, everything, so hopefully this is sounding better than some of the original vlogs. Um, I know the original vlogs sounded all right, but even just in my own head, this sounds better right now. Got the Arai XD4 helmet, and I even used a really pro Sennheiser mic. I jacked off with some of my, um, some of my like wireless lav mic kit that I got for Christmas two years ago now. Really good kit and quite expensive. So yeah, riding the boosted board. I actually am not going anywhere today, uh, and I think that's the beauty of it. It's just a beautiful day outside, so I was like, heck. Might as well jump on the board and go for a cruise, and I know the last couple times I've been teaching Griffin how to ride, in case you didn't know. Not necessarily how to ride a longboard. I mean, he used to skate, but even, I mean, obviously skating will help, but even skating's still kind of different from boosted boarding, so taught him a little bit of that, kind of showed him the ropes, and uh, we've been riding together, so that is awesome. One of the reasons I bought two boosted boards to go riding with him. But I also know that the more I ride with him, the less I can talk to you guys because I can't have a helmet on my head and uh, can't have a helmet on my head and talk to you guys while I'm riding with him. So, you know, it's all about spacing it out. And uh, I thought that today I would go for a ride by myself. And I mean, heck, these booster boards don't take long to charge. I could even go for another one later. But for today, I'm by myself. No cars behind me, which is great. I can just travel on these roads. <laughs> I also don't have a tinted visor on my new helmet yet. So uh, everyone can see me. I love having the tinted visor before. I felt like a snake. No, not snake. Snake eyes? Snake eyes. I think that's the guy from G.I. Joe. He's like a samurai and he looks awesome. We're gonna cruise by the school today. Uh, kids are probably still in class. A lot of you guys were asking for mo more moto vlogs and you're like, hey, when you're gonna vlog on your motorcycle and stuff? And I was like, well, truthfully, interesting vlogs where I'm actually going places. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do f until like halfway through June. I figured until then I might as well ride the boosted board because I do have it. And I mean, I still wanna ride this thing even once I get my motorcycle. I want to make sure that this motorcycle does not become a reason for me to put away this beautiful thing. Because I mean, this thing's good for the planet, guys. It's electric and for basic cruising around, super awesome. I don't know if it's because I'm going uphill or not, but it definitely feels like this is not top speed. And I know last time I was riding this, I put it into pro mode with Griffin, which is one below extreme just to uh, conserve battery. It's just a different speed and I think I put it back into extreme, but I'm not quite sure. This is a big hill right here where we get tons of juicage out of the battery. There's a, there's a car behind me and we're gonna, let's try and see if the car can't catch up because the cars have these speed bumps, which are no problem for a longboarder like myself. Also guys, in case you didn't know, school in Canada here ends in pretty much June and most people ends like late June, but I don't have any exams. That girl even see me? Car still hasn't caught up. I don't have any exams this year, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go for a slow little cruise in this random street. So I don't have any exams this year, so that means my classes pretty much end halfway through June and I get my motorcycle license, full license, in uh, June 13th. 
I thought it was July 13th for the longest time because I looked at my permit the day I got it and it said it expired on July 13th, but I can get it 30 days before that. So June 13th, I can go ride. So out of school and I just kind of wanted to bring that up because I'm like, hey, we're uh, it's getting to the end of school, which is pretty fascinating. And it's weird, guys. If you have the semester system where you basically got two semesters a year and each semester has its own classes and stuff and the same classes every day, hey, that's a pretty cool car. If you have that system, let me know. And if you do, don't you find that second semester is always just a zillion years faster feeling? It just feels so much shorter. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just the motorcycle helmet, but it definitely doesn't feel like I'm in pro mo or extreme mode. Let's check that out. Let's take a little peek here. See what we're up to. Yep, we were in extreme. My feet are tingling. Now I know for sure we're in extreme at least. Oh. Yeah, when I put on the uh, motorcycle jacket and helmet, it definitely doesn't feel like I'm going nearly as fast. I guess I don't realize that these helmets do a great job at protecting all that wind noise and stuff. All that wind on my face. In a way, I actually find that this is um, just superb practice for motorcycle riding because I kind of ride this thing on the roads and when you're on a motorcycle, oh, this is a lot of cul-de-sacs. On a motorcycle, you want to ride with the intention that everybody wants to hit you. To be completely safe, you have to. I want to go back in that lake, but it looks like private property. We won't touch it. Yeah, you got to ride with the intention that everybody's out to get you. So, uh, when I'm on this booster board, I'm riding with the intention that everybody wants to kill me on this board on their road. So I think it's good training. Also, I think this week or next weekend, either this weekend or next weekend, I am doing uh, my MSF, which is your Motorcycle Safety Foundation course. And that little lesson, and when you pass that, if you pass that, I'm obviously gonna pass it. But if you do, then you are given your M2. Go, don't look at me, just go. Dude. Catching up to this car, if he breaks, I'm probably screwed. <laughs> okay, fine, you're a little bit faster. Be that way, I'm going uphill. Hate to be this guy, but uh, okay. I was gonna ask you to hit the thumbs up button. Definitely don't have to, but um, the only reason I wanted you to, or kind of requested it from you, is just because I want to know if you generally like these styles of videos. These boosted vlogs. And then maybe if you've been wanting one of these for a long time and you, fi and you finally got one, then you can smash that like button because you're like, yeah, Adam, finally. We just want some boosted action in the way that no other YouTuber broadcasts it. I've been following this car for so long. I think it's a sign you need to speed up. I'm on a skateboard, sir. <laughs> hey, hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that guy's a straight up thug. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a bad thing, but I realized ever since I got my motorcycle, I'm making fun of people, guys. Horrible thing, you shouldn't do it. But I'm making fun of people that ride mopeds and scooters, and hey, maybe that's all they can afford. But the fact that I ride a full CC motorcycle enduro bike, okay, see you later, buddy. The fact that I ride a full CC enduro makes me feel pretty good about myself, we'll say at least. Here, let's, let's enter this road and let the, uh, the minivan pass us. You're free to go. Oh, I know why they didn't want to pass me. They liked the boosted board. <laughs> I thought I thought I was being kind of a pain in the butt. Like, hey, I was moving because I thought they wanted to get by and that's why they were on my butt. But it turns out they just liked the board, yo. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're at 10% juice. It's time to head on home. Yeah, that is one thing about these boosted vlogs. You know, in a way, motorcycle, it can go forever. And t technically, I've got four GoPro batteries 
in my pocket and a 200 gigabyte micro SD. So I can record for a very long time, but the board don't last long at all. And the boosted board's range, don't kid yourself guys, the range is horrible on a boosted board. I don't care if it's hills or flat, it's, it's not good range. And that's why my Z Board 2 Pearl Edition, the Pearl Edition is just going to be this coolest thing since sliced bread. It goes only two miles per hour less than this thing. It's only, it's a thousand watt motor and this is a 2000 watt motor. So you may think, oh, that's double the speed. Not true. This, it's a more efficient motor on the Z-Board 2 Pearl. So it, uh, it doesn't conserve as much energy, but it can still push you just about as fast, which is pretty crazy. And um, I think the range on this thing's like seven or nine miles or something, but I know the it's close to 20 mile range, 22 miles or something like that on the Z-Board 2 Pearl. 22 miles, that's like, that's so crazy. So um, if you think about it, if it rides 22 miles per hour and it can go to like 22 miles or something, it's like, it's like an hour of riding full speed. That's like very far. So I'm very excited for that. And it also doesn't have a remote, so I can like, flail my hands more and look even weirder. Oh, I can feel the board dying. Gotta make it home, 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 home. Yeah, the Z-Board don't use the, uh, the, the remote. It uses foot pads and it's got a back one and a front one. And when you lean on the front one, it goes faster. And the more you lean, the more it goes. And the more you lean back, the more it breaks. And I actually had the old Z-Board and it needed a lot of touch-ups. It was awesome and it was a great introductory to the boosted board, but it really just didn't have it all there and it rode more like a skateboard. And uh, the Z-Board, let's just say, the Z-Board 2 Pearl or Blue Edition are gonna be sick. And I'm so sorry, Boosted, for talking about another brand in your video because I guess technically this is your video. I'm riding your product, so pay me already. Don't mean to scare you. Dang it, I know that person. Don't you hate that? Frickin' rocks, man. Frickin' rocks. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end the moto vlogger right here because we're getting way too close to my home, guys. Just, just gonna put it out there. So with that, I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know what to do. You're awesome. Keep a lookout for more of these boosted vlogs. I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop. Later! Here in my garage, just a last little side note. Earlier in this video, I was talking about the boosted board and its horrible range, and then I got on to talking about the Z-board. But what I forgot to mention is the fact that I own two of these. My motorcycle can literally go forever and I'll have no idea how long I've been recording and that could make my videos very long. This has a limit of about 20 minutes of riding. This will boost it up to 40 minutes of riding, right? So I've got two. So that's good. Alright, see you guys.